another problem on formal language. The problem here is like this. Determine the grammar G where L of G is equal to A to the power of N B to the power of M where N is even and M is odd. So, they have been told that whether N is greater than M or equal to or lesser than that is not the constant. We are having two constants. Constant number one is that A will be clustered and then B will be clustered. There will be no mixing of A and B. There is a problem number constant number one. Constant number two is that N is even. So, A will be always even number of. So, I can think that A will be of 0 number of, 2 number of, 4 number of, 6 number of and so on. And M will be of odd number of that sorry B will be of odd number of because M is odd. So, B can occur for once, for 3 times, for 5 times, for 7 times and so on. So, how to uh, write the respective uh, production rules for the grammar? So, let us try once. So, here you see we can write in this way I am just doing the separation of responsibilities. S1 will produce even number of A's, S2 will produce even number of B's, but if I put one B here extra, then if S2 produces even number of B's, one B will be extra, so S2 will produce odd number of B's. So, I can write this, uh, this particular production rule in this way. So, let me go for S1 and let me go for S2. So, S1 will be producing always 2 times A, always 2 times A or kappa and S2 can produce always 2 times B or kappa. So, S2 will produce always even number of B's, S1 will produce always even number of A's, but 1 B is here extra. So, if you go on concatenating even number of B's and 1 B, so ultimately we are going to get odd number of B's and that is the constant is getting satisfied. So, that is my production rule. So, let me write the grammar. So, in this way the grammar can be defined. So, I have defined the V n, S, S 1, S 2 are the non terminals, I have written them in the capital letters and then V t, there will be nothing but A and B only. Then P, P is having S produces S 1, S 2 B, I have written this one, S 1 produces A, A S 1, S 1 produces kappa. Similarly, S2 produces B, B, S2 and S2 produces kappa and S is the start symbol. In this way, the grammar can be defined. Thanks for watching this video.